require recipes and we do bit of a travel blogging and food blogging as well. I am your host Nitin and it feels so good to be back in this kitchen again because we were traveling to Kurg and Mangalore and eating one of the most delicious food which was on offer there. So if you have not checked those videos, do check those. But we are back in kitchen and I am going to show you one fantastic recipe today and it is going to be a seafood recipe or a prawns recipe. And what I gained over this trip to Mangalore, this recipe is one of the Mangalorean classic and we are going to do it simplified my way and the recipe is going to be prawns ghee roast. So ghee roast is basically combination of the kundapur chilies or the bedgi chili and ghee and some other spices and either chicken is cooked into it or prawns is cooked into it or squids are cooked into it. So we are going to see a simple version of it. So let's see what all we need for this recipe but before I, I start the video, if you like the video make sure you press the thumb icon, if you are new to the channel press that red button to subscribe and press that bell icon for instant notification so whenever we do fantastic recipes like this you get an instant notification. So let's make the prawns ghee roast. So for our ghee roast what we have got is bedgi chili. Now this is a chili which is grown in Mangalore or Kundapur and it gives good color and it's not very spicy. So though the number is around 15 of them, they are not very spicy. If you don't get your hands on this, you can always use Kashmiri red chili. So traditionally this is soaked overnight. What we are going to do, we are going to do a shortcut and we are going to just add some hot water to them and soak it for around 15 minutes. So first thing is adding hot water to our chilies and soaking them. So we'll keep that aside. We are using little bit of tamarind. So we'll add little bit of hot water also so we can get a good pulp out of it. So that is tamarind is soaked. Now these are around 350 gram large prawns I am using. I have deveined them and they are nice and clean and look at the size of them. They are as big as my fingers. So we are using some delicious fresh prawns for this prawns gris roast. And we will add little bit of turmeric and red chili powder. The exact measurements are there in description box. We will add little bit of salt to this. And a squeeze of lemon or lime. So marinate the prawns and just give it a good mix and keep this aside. So though we are using a lot of chili in this recipe, we are using the another ingredient which is very quintessential to Indian cuisine and that is ghee and the amount of ghee you use is quite high in this recipe but that makes it delicious. So by the time our chili and tamarind is soaking, let us make powder of all the dry ingredient. So we have got some black pepper corn, some jeera or cumin, we got coriander, little bit of methi seeds or fenugreek seeds and little bit of mustard seeds. So let us add all of that to our small jar of mixture grinder and make a fine powder of it and then we will add all the other ingredients. Now there is a fine powder of dry ingredients is done. Let us add other ingredients, so little bit of salt, little bit of jaggery or gur, few cloves of garlic and now we add the tamarind to give it a tartness. So this is the pulp of tamarind, we did it in hot water or warm water, so we add a part of it. And it's time to add the chilies. You can see they are soaked nicely and swelled up by hot water. So we'll add them one by one to the grinder. Now let us blend this into a very fine and thick paste. You can add little bit of water if needed. So that's the delicious and red looking Kundapur ghee roast paste is ready and the chilies have given it a wonderful color. So what we will do is heat a pan. Always for this recipe you should take a thick bottom pan and start with ghee. So we will add around half of the ghee what we have taken, around 2 tablespoons. 
and to the ghee we will add the masala paste we need to cook the masala paste first and then we will add the prawns so in restaurant this paste is known as the kundapur ghee roast paste and they generally keep this paste ready and whenever the order comes they just toss the chicken or the prawns in it and serve so now on a medium heat we need to cook this for good 7 to 8 minute till the color goes darker and the ghee separates from the masala so we will get this cooked and then add our prawns so we have added little bit water to the it from the cleaning of the same mixer grinder that we used now on a medium plate you need to cook this masala well the ghee will start start to separate and you can add little bit ghee on top also so if you go to kundapur from where this recipe started the shetty lunch home in kundapur and in mangalore also you can get this and now this recipe is done by a lot of restaurants in mangalore they actually simmer this masala along with chicken on a medium heat for good 40 45 minutes since we are doing it at home we can just do it in 7 to 10 minutes and also it will keep on cooking along with the prawns so i have been stirring the ghee roast masala continuously for 10 minutes now and you need to come to this stage i told you it will start leaving the ghee which is nice and red in color and the masala will get shiny and deeper in color so you see the pan it has started leaving the ghee that is the time we will be adding our prawns to the masala so the marinated prawns goes in now and fry them along with the masala we'll add the remaining ghee which will help cook the prawns as well and bring out the flavor and we will add some curry leaves which will give a nice flavor i wish you could take on the aroma it is so fragrant you feel you are in mangalore somewhere in a nice restaurant so let us cover and cook this for around 5 to 6 minutes so what delicious kundapur prawns ghee roast is ready and look at the red color ghee which has come on top i can't wait to plate it and taste it another amazing and a delicious prawn dish so that's the fantastic mangalore style kundapur prawn ghee roast is ready and look at that masala oozing with ghee let us taste it so that was creamy delicious and spicy mangalore style prawn ghee roast if you like this recipe make sure you press that thumb icon you try it before your family and friends if you are new to the channel press this subscribe button and press the bell icon and check out all the recent videos we've been doing some food blogging and all the other recipes on the channel so until we meet again with fantastic recipes like this stay happy stay healthy and enjoy cooking